In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect MetaMask with the Polygon network, plus how you can bridge your Matic tokens. And for more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. MetaMask has always been the go-to wallet for accessing the Ethereum network. However, you can connect MetaMask to other networks such as Polygon for accessing decentralized apps and DeFi that support it. Although these reduced a little bit recently, users are getting increasingly frustrated with the sky-high prices when interacting with the Ethereum network and are now searching for ways to reduce their costs. One way is by avoiding the Ethereum fees altogether and using alternative protocols such as the likes of the Polygon network which was formerly known as Matic Network. Polygon is a protocol for building and connecting Ethereum-compatible blockchain networks, and their cheaper transaction costs and faster block times have driven increased adoption by a number of popular dApps, such as the likes of Aave, Zero X, or SushiSwap. So let's jump in and see how we can connect. And the first thing you'll need to do is open up your MetaMask wallet. If you don't already have one, you can create one, or you can simply import your private keys. Depending on when you're watching this video, Polygon may already be added to the list of networks here after an update, but I'll show you how to manually add these just in case. And before making any major changes to your MetaMask wallet, please just ensure that you have access to your private keys or your secret phrase, just so that you can back up or restore your wallet in case anything goes wrong. First of all, you'll see the network that you're currently connected to at the top of the screen and my MetaMask is connected to Ethereum. And there are lots of other options here, such as the likes of the Binance Smart Chain. But as you can see, I don't currently have access to Polygon, so I'll need to add the network. So if I click onto this circle icon beside it, and choose Settings, then Network from the left-hand side of the screen, and then I'm going to choose Add Network, where I'll then need to add in all the details for the protocol, and instead of me reading out all these to you, you'll find links and information in my blog post, which I'll link below. So once you've added in all the information, you can then scroll to the bottom and click on to save. And you can now see the Polygon network is connected at the top of the screen here. So once you've connected your MetaMask wallet to the Polygon, you can then use it with apps such as Aave, ZeroX or SushiSwap, where you can see that I'm now connected. However, to use the Polygon network, you're going to need some Matic tokens to pay for the gas fees. And this is in the same way that you need ETH for Ethereum and BNB for the likes of the Binance Smart Chain. If these tokens are Ethereum-based Matic tokens, you'll need to bridge these to the Polygon network too, which is what we're going to take a look at. So as you can see, I don't currently have any Matic in my wallet. And one way to get these tokens is by trading for them over on Binance but you will have to pay a withdrawal fee in ETH to get these into your wallet and then another fee to bridge into Polygon. So I'm not going to choose this option, but if you did want to, I've got a link in the summary below that will get you 20% off your trading fees with Binance. Another option is using the likes of Uniswap, where you will be charged a fee for the swap, but it'll be straight into your wallet so there won't be any withdrawal fees there. However, the process that I'm actually going to be using today is using FTX, where I've currently got some Matic tokens. And normally there is a withdrawal fee when you're using the exchange, but because I stake my FTT tokens, I do get three free withdrawals a day, which is pretty handy. But if you want to use FTX, again, you can get 5% off your trading fees with my link below. So I'm going to send my Matic tokens across to my MetaMask wallet now, which I need to ensure is on the Ethereum network. And this is because the token is currently on Ethereum. Which we can do using the Polygon Bridge, which is available from inside the Polygon Wallet. Once we arrive at the wallet, we're prompted to connect up our wallet. So obviously we're going to connect MetaMask here. And you'll want to make sure you're on the Ethereum mainnet now inside MetaMask, as that's where our Matic tokens currently are. And I'm then asked to sign the transaction. So now I'm in the Polygon Wallet version 2, and you'll see my wallet connected in the top right-hand side of the screen. To use the bridge, head across to the Apps tab at the top of the screen, and choose Polygon Bridge. 
And then here is where you can swap your tokens from ERC20 tokens to the Polygon network. And it's asking which Ethereum token I'd like to bridge, which is obviously going to be Matic in this case. So if I search for that and select it, then enter the amount that I'd like to bridge or simply click onto max. I can then choose to transfer. And I'm shown an important message here stating that moving funds from Ethereum to Polygon takes around 7 to 8 minutes, plus delegation to validators for staking isn't included. I'm going to click on to continue, where it then shows me a transfer overview, including all my estimated fees here for approving the deposit and then completing it. If I press on to continue again, I'm then asked to confirm my transaction, and I'll need to approve that in my MetaMask wallet. And you can see that my Matic tokens are now in progress. So once that's completed, over on Etherscan, you can see that that's cost me a total of $12.02 to bridge. And my Matic tokens are now appearing in my Polygon wallet under the list of tokens, along with my token balance. Plus, they're also showing in my MetaMask wallet under the Polygon network. So now that you've got your Matic tokens available in your MetaMask wallet, you can use dApps with the Polygon network with cheaper and faster transactions. And I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.